family today is the kobe shing dinks you know what i mean of course we've got our kobe powder yes which is readily available on buy i'll leave a link in the description box so you know what let's make kobe mac and cheese say what i'm back yes and if this is your first time you're welcome thank you very much for tuning in and to my existing subscribers and family thank you for holding the fort now let's go through the list of ingredients I will be using three types of cheeses for this recipe, starting off with my Gruyere cheese, which is stringy in its texture and it's beautiful. Next thing is my red Leicester cheese as well, that of course it's grated. I'd also be using my extra mature cheddar, which I have grated. Now let's talk about flavors. Of course, I'll be using my Kobe blend. And for that aromatic chili flavor, I'll also be using my Rus Harissa. And for that sweetness, I'll be using my Holy Grill All-Purpose blend. Now I've got my onions here. And to a saucepan, I've added my olive oil. I'm going to sweat my onions for about five minutes on that medium to very low heat. Yes. Whilst that is happening, I'm going to to add about a tablespoonful of my Kobe blend. Now my Kobe blend has very less salt. It's been curated in a very special way. So the next ingredient that will be coming up that will be available on the website will be our Kobe salt because then if you want that intense Kobe flavor you can add that to it and that works wonders. So of course I'm sweating this beauty together so yes that Kobe is there the Kobe salt has been added to it and I'm just going to cover it and when I do come back it's lovely it's just like it still holds its shape yes it's not overly soft and it is at this point that i do add my flour yes because i'm making a roux yes we're making the cheese sauce absolutely but i just made it bish bash bosh this is like a no fuss thing to make now whilst i've just added the flour to it i've also added my rus harissa as i mentioned earlier and i'm just going to mix everything together now it's important and imperative that you do cook the flour because if not you have that raw flour flavor and you don't want that so of course i have you know done that for about five minutes and it's at this point that i just added my milk and i'm using my whole full fat milk for this recipe if you want a healthier option you can go for your skimmed or semi-skimmed one not a problem so yes i'm just going to mix everything together and then it is at this point that i'm also going to add my holy grill blend that gives it that sweetness because it's got that sort of nutmeg base to it but it's very aromatic so a little goes a long way so i'm going to allow this to simmer on that medium to low heat for about five minutes until the texture looks like it's thickening and you can just tell that yes the flour is definitely cooked through and here i'm now going to be adding all my cheeses and of course mixing everything together the flavors here yeah, is incredible. So you get to that Kobe flavor coming through. You know what I mean? And you've got your mac and cheese and you've got the cheeses in there. You've got the onion. You know, of course, at this point, you notice that the onions are quite chunky. But of course, once you bake it, it just melts into the whole mac and cheese absolutely. So this, yeah, it looks good. And I'm now finally adding my um gruyere cheese and that gives the cheese that stringy um sort of texture now if you've ever tried the french onion soup yes definitely there you know that the gruyere cheese is known for that it's like almost like a mozzarella not a mozzarella at all and i'm sure like we're like how dare you compare those two but anyhow <laughs> moving on that's ready so now let's move to my um pasta may i say of course you know um so to my saucepan i've added some water and here i'm adding my kobe salt yes but you can use any other salts that you do have available and i'm using my penne pasta here so that's what i'm just going to boil i'm just following the instructions on the pack and um, just boil it um really and truly because you will be baking this as well you don't want to overcook it um so i did cook it for a minute less than the time that it did require absolutely so once that is boiled i'm going to strain this and now it's the mix 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 behavior yes the most exciting part of it now what i do love about this dish is is one that you know you can make a big batch and portion it and you know fridge it 
And that could just last you for the week, you know, absolutely. So I have bought the pasta and I've placed that in my dish. And here I did sprinkle it with a little bit of the Kobe blend again. And now I'm scooping the beautiful Kobe cheese sauce, may I say, over it. And I'm just going to mix everything together until, of course, as I always say, it's well combined. Now, if you do like what you see so far, please don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment or two, share with your family and friends, try the recipe, absolutely. And yes, you can get the Kobe blend on buyindudu.com. Look at that. This is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. Kobe mac and cheese. Say what? <laughs> Preheat your oven to 180 degrees and bake this beauty until it forms a beautiful brown crust on the surface and it's just incredible. In Dudu by Fafa, Kobe and Dudu and Nikuilu. Fafa, come on, bring Dudu and blow Fafa. I love the flavors are all in love. I've just sprinkled my Kobe mac and cheese with a bit of my herby blend, but you can use any fresh herbs such as parsley. Um, yes, to finish this off, absolutely. Or some spring onions anyway, that would work well, especially the green parts. Yes, yum, yum, yum. And here is the pierce that is the stones i hope you're definitely inspired to try this recipe most definitely and if you do i would definitely like to hear from you I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to Awusu's Kitchen and Cynthia Boating for that amazing review and feedback you did with the Kobe blend. Now, I'll leave links in the description box below so you can watch it as well for yourself. They did so well, like, you know. Hats off. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, if you'd like to grab any of our blends or spices and you're based in the UK, yes, you can just check it out on buyindudu.com. Do not forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment or two, share with your family and friends. You'd also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indudu by Fafa. So always pass by and say hi. Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song. I'm always appreciative. And if you definitely do need a theme song as well, yes, Narelle is your contact. I'll also leave his link in the description box. So yes, you can contact him for that. Now, Nancy, to my next video and answer my next recipe and answer my next shenanigans i love you for you thank you very much for watching toodles